as somebody who, who did come home from Afghanistan, like many of us that come home from war, we do feel that divide and, and we want to do something to try to, uh, to try to bridge that divide, to try to narrow that divide so that other veterans don't feel it to the same degree that we felt it. And, and, and I, myself and, and a few other student veterans here at Yale, we felt passionate about the idea of Yale being a leader in trying to bridge that divide and that's what helped, helped us uh, have this idea for this, for this summit this weekend. And we're here today because a few veterans several years ago sat down at Wall Street Pizza at our regular Thursday morning veterans breakfast. And we're talking through experiences that we had here at Yale about the, the differences between our experiences in the military and our colleagues' experiences in, in academia and in life. And we decided then that one thing that would really help out, we had to have a, a conference, a, civ, a Bridging the Civ Mill Divide conference. It had to be big and it had to be hosted at Yale. This has been long in the making in terms of let's have an, a conversation, bring in some people with some, with some great credentials and background to discuss this topic, which is um, obviously a pretty heavy one right now after uh, over a decade of war. The Veterans Summit uh, is hugely important. It sends a signal of, of how important a role veterans uh, have uh, played and continue to play in our lives. You know, why are we all gathered here? I think it's uh, critically important uh, that the institution, whether it's Yale or, or other institutions of higher learning, uh, continue to engage uh, with the military community uh, because we are the community. Uh, we come from the community, uh, we put a uniform on, we go out and we serve, uh, but we remain uh, part of that embedded community and we do a tremendous amount of work in society and uh, to have that dialogue and to have that interaction and and to have that engagement I think is, is fundamentally critical uh, and I'm glad that uh, Yale has led the way. A very strong message here is that Yale is an ally to both sides and can be the bridge that this gap needs to fill in uh, to have a, a, a continuum of the very best for our veterans. And what's brought us here today is uh, just the ability to get together. It's very exciting to have Yale uh, be so involved in, once again, military and veterans affairs, and to see the, the interest, not only among the current population, uh, but folks from previous generations. Yale's leading the charge with this um, summit, so I think it's absolutely striking that this is the venue. Um, and I also think it's incredible to see the diversity of people that we have here today. It's not just Yale affiliated people talking to other Yale affiliated people. There's a whole stretch of people who are here interested in these issues and so I think it's very exciting. What we have is insufficient dialogue. So we have some dialogue, we have some interactions, we have some partnerships, but I would submit to you it's insufficient. So the bottom line here is in order for all Americans to play their role and make a difference in our national security, we all need to understand exactly what it is. Um, we're defending, and that, as I said to you earlier, ladies and gentlemen, takes knowledge, more knowledge for all of us, and closing that knowledge gap. Yale has done uh, leaps and bounds of great work for us, the Air Force, and veterans alike. There's initiatives abroad to include veterans in, as part of their hiring processes uh, and their educational processes as well. Uh, so, as with everything that starts new again, we're looking to take what we learned and expand uh, for future for future years. So we hope this will be the many of first such summits uh, here at Yale. When you look at all of the service areas that Yale gets involved in, it encompasses in all of society. So the whole idea of service is, okay, there was an element that was missing. There are those that do want to wear a uniform and they would like to lead other people and care for other people. And Yale recognized that. Yale is a place where you can come to sink in to the big, hairy, and important questions. And listen, at the end of the day, the civil-military divide isn't a fixed point-in-time thing. There's not a single solution. Uh, it's a shifting concept that is different year by year, generation by generation, place by place. Uh, but what is important about having it at Yale is that the only way to solve it in our current context is to have a bunch of these conversations all over the country. And when you start at a place like Yale, uh, it has the power to inspire that type of scaling, I think. And to hear individuals talking about the struggles that are out there and the complications that are out there, but how do we bridge those gaps? How do we make the civilian population and the veteran population, the military population, work together? Uh, uh, we're trying to do that on our own level as well. And to be able to put our two cents into the pile 
uh, to see if we can help make a difference. Um, it's kind of how we looked at it. Just because my time in the military is over doesn't mean I can't continue to serve this great country of ours. I think it only takes one person to make a difference because one person is going to touch the lives of more people and it goes on from there. So frankly, just by having the, just the initial interaction with different people who have different perspectives and that are doing different types of work, when we interact this way, we, we take something away from that and then we're able to do our jobs better and we're able to, to carry that perspective on to others. And I think that's how we learn as, you know, just as society, that's how we learn is we, we talk, we engage, um, and we open our minds up to be able to explore these different perspectives. So I think this is sort of a starting point for that. I think an even greater effort is required on our respective parts, both on the military and on the civilian side to understand each other better. Uh, Yale has really laid out the welcome mat for uh, people who have had military service. I think that we'd be more than delighted to welcome as many uh, people with military experience uh, here on this campus. And I look forward to that uh, increasing in the months and years ahead. I think it's important to show complete integration between different um, communities uh, at Yale University because I think, you know, when you lack an understanding of, say, one side of the conversation, then you tend to have a bias um, and you just reinforce that bias over and over and over. So Yale is a perfect place to start this national conversation, I think, because everybody is open-minded and willing to uh, figure out what we can do better in the future. And so we produced something people wanted to come to. At the end of the panel discussion today, you couldn't keep people away from the front of the people who came up to discuss the issues that they were felt were important for the nation and that they felt passionately about. I found over the course of my time here at Yale, we weren't that far apart once we started talking. There's a huge culture of service here at Yale, and that's something that military members can definitely relate to. I definitely think that service is part of the DNA of Yale. And one of the things that's hard for veterans to realize is there are many ways to serve, and military service, while important, is only one way. So I think that's part of the, the, what brings people to Yale is that tradition of service. And one of the things I brought away from me was, was that very fact, there are many ways to serve. We're all in this together, and we, together we can make our country better through service. I think, I think all universities exist to inculcate uh, a sense of, uh, of self and community and service. Um, I think Yale does, uh, has a particular focus on that and sort of prides itself on doing that. Um, but uh, the other thing that universities do is that they're incubators of ideas. I think that I hope that people take away some of the things they've learned in the discussion of what people are doing. This is uh, Yale Veterans is a small group, uh, but they've done a lot and uh, I think that you, I hear people talking about getting people jobs and making connections, and uh, it's more than an intellectual discussion. People really do follow up and get things done, so they should be thinking, how can I get the next veteran hired? How can I support a local cause for the veterans? What's the next thing I could do with networking with another person in the community, another Yale alumni person, another person who's a veteran, to get something done to help the veterans? And it's very important that you had this conference here this weekend because First of all, Yale has a lot to offer, and they have a wonderful reputation of bringing different uh, groups together. And I think that's what I've seen here is, when you talk about the gap, you have individuals who are both experiencing the gap or on either side of them. And I'm especially proud, uh, as an alumni of Yale, that the veterans here took it upon themselves to organize a very successful conference. We're really fortunate to have people from all walks of life here. We have local veterans, some that are, 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 are homeless or nearly homeless, and we have, we have students, faculty members. So everybody's going to be coming to this conference from a, a much different perspective. But I hope it really does inspire people to change the way that they think of service, that they think of our veterans, and perhaps that they think of themselves. For one of the most elite colleges in the country and the world to show a commitment sets the example, I think, for the rest of academia. If this institution, which, as we all know, had a, has a history with veterans, are able to bring these caliber of folks together to have this conversation, to help guide the way forward, I mean, what more can we ask for, quite, quite honestly?
I would love for people to be motivated by, uh, by this event to, to check us out and see how they, can, uh, how they can volunteer and move the mission of the YVA ahead. I hope everybody here has some Bula Bula in their heart, but I hope the weekend definitely leaves people with more of a feeling of Bula Bula going forward.